Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm in a very special place here in New York City. You're looking at uh, a plaque of uh, uh, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, and she, in 1975, is responsible for saving this landmark, this national historic landmark, uh, Grand Central Terminal or Grand Central Station. And that's what we're gonna take a look at right now. It's, uh, it's a little bit warmer today. I'd say it's about uh, 40, 42 degrees perhaps. Yesterday was 21 degrees. And it is the 29th of March. I hope you enjoyed uh, the cemetery visit. And uh, that more or less was for my family members, but uh, could be interesting to people who did not know my parents uh, personally. But uh, so let's go. Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis is responsible for saving this great terminal, this great building. And she, they were going to demolish it just like they did. Uh, Madison Square Garden, and let's go in. I'm here with uh, Norma. No, <laughs> I'm ready for my club. No, I'm here with uh, Mary Beth Hennessy, and she will fill in some of the blanks to all those who, with head, heart, and hand, toiled in the construction of this monument to the public service. This is inscribed. So let's go. Let's go. A lot of people will be catching trains here and whatnot. We will be just touring. So Mary Beth, you want to talk to us about the lights? Well, notice the chandeliers. Now, the terminal was built in 1913. And the electric light bulb was uh, just invented uh, right after. And, and so All right, this is, left, not a, this is not NBC. They left the, just, bulbs, just tell they us. Left the bulbs exposed to celebrate the new invention. All right. So this is where... Uh, okay. So here we go. We're going inside. Attention customers. A reminder. Probably the just just a beautiful building and the iconic clock this is a very famous terminal and uh, that's why I want to show it to you. Mary Beth, you want to tell us about what you talked about earlier yeah, on the so ceiling? Notice the beautiful mural on the ceiling. It was at one time covered with black because people used to smoke a lot. And over the years, this mural was covered by black soot and was not, it was forgotten. Talk about the little square, it was forgotten. the triangle. It was during the renovation that Jackie Kennedy was responsible for. They cleaned the ceiling. And to show you just how dirty it was and why it was forgotten is they leave a little black triangle there, or a rectangle rather, to show you how dirty it was before they cleaned Before the restoration, that's what the ceiling looked like, that little triangle. Uh, rectangle. A rectangle. Uh, that's what it looked like. So this is the famous uh, ceiling with the const constellations of the stars. From the point of view of God. Oh, jeez. Just, just a beautiful building. And some information area. And tell us, uh, you mentioned something earlier about uh, Campbell. Oh, the Campbell apartment. Well, he was an executive uh, here at, uh, the, I guess, the management of Grand Central, and he lived outside the city in the in the suburbs. And uh, when he didn't want to go home, because uh, it was late or whatever, he had a little pad here, a batch 
bachelor's pad. I think he was married, but anyway, maybe it wasn't a bad He had a pad here called the Camp, it's now called the Camp of Mars. Uh, worth a visit. And you mentioned earlier that uh, there were uh, residences or hotels connected to the Yes, terminals. such as the Roosevelt Hotel, Hotel and the Commodore Hotel. There were about five hotels so that the commuters or visitors to New York never had to uh, go outside of the street with the riffraff. They just go straight from the train station to the hotel room. They never have to uh, go outside. Right. Now here is some of the places you can travel from here. It's just Westchester and uh, Connecticut. Westchester and Connecticut. The White Plains, you can connect to... Uh, Harlem Line departures. Now, of course, I encourage everybody to Google Grand Central Station to, to get a, a more in-depth uh, synopsis. Oh, my God. Now, tell me about the walkways here. I see people walking over along these walkways. Let me come over here and give you some some uh, particulars about this this terminal or this station. There is uh, you can watch the people go by. Uh, construction was from 1903 to 1913. It's a U.S. National Historic Landmark. Its location is at 42nd Street and Park Avenue in New York City. And it uh, takes up 48 acres. It has 44 platforms. And it's the largest in the world. There are 30 tracks on the upper level and 26 tracks on the lower level. A total of 67 tracks all underground. We're in the main concourse now, and it's 35,000 square feet. It looked like Cornelius Vanderbilt. He owned the railroad. This was, I believe, the third Grand Central Terminal. He was uh, known as the Commodore. He was an entrepreneur even as a teenager. He started the first Staten Island Ferry because he lived in Staten Island. When the ferry was uh, first opened, he invited his friends over to Manhattan at no charge, but they had to pay going back. Cornelius Vanderbilt, the Commodore, you wouldn't want to be married to him. His wife was not so happy. Watch your step. Why wouldn't you want to be married to him? Well, he did have a lot of wealth and he kept moving to bigger residences and his wife was tired of moving, so uh, he said, we're moving again. And she said, I don't want to move. And so he put her in a mental hospital until she changed her mind. Now, what is this down here? This is the uh, food court. Food court. Where is the... Uh... It's a shake shop. Let's go over to the Whispering Gallery. I'm sure. Uh, just a just a gigantic complex. Just a, the famous Oyster Bar restaurant is here. Okay, you you go in the corner and I'll come over here. And this is just the acoustics are such that if you stand in this corner. You can hear Mary Beth speak to me. There she goes. She's going to speak. All right, go ahead and speak. I 
Just go ahead, speak some more. Brian Holtz, Go ahead, keep speaking. Brian Holtzman, Brian Holtzman. Can you hear it? Yeah, I think you can hear it. Okay. So, uh, it's just the way the acoustics are. That if you stand in each corner, you can see. Uh, and you can see the homeless people fighting as well. So, where would we be without the homeless? Wow. It's very Congratulations. It's Congratulations. Very expensive to have a wedding. So they come to New York with a photographer and they take pictures of famous landmarks to save face. Saving face is very important in the Asian community. Uh, you, you cannot say something derogatory, even if you're not, it's not meant to be derogatory. Sometimes if you're just criticizing in a good way, or educating, the Asian will take that as losing face. So you have to be extremely careful how you uh, communicate with Asians. They do not want to lose face. And what will happen is they may not tell you that they lost face, but they will come and they will find you later and remind you in maybe not such an, a, a comfortable way that you cause them to lose face. So just a word to the wise, just a beautiful building. I just had to show it to you. It'd be negligent if I didn't. Uh, it's a famous, famous, thank you, Jacqueline, J Jackie Kennedy. They were gonna tear this building down. And as, as I wake my way to, as I make my way to Penn Station, uh, Madison Square Garden, and I'll do a sh short presentation on that as I board the chain to Long Island. Uh, that's what we have today. Uh, just just uh, a round disc of a building. That was just as grand as this building, and it was torn down, and that's why we have Madison Square Garden. A very uh, just unattractive uh I don't know, what would you call that? Monstrosity. The it looks like the top of a, uh, you know, a screw off top of a bottle, right? No, no charm, no character. Oh, there, there's a person walking. See the person walking up there? So these are uh, walkways that connect to different platforms, different areas of the terminal. See them? There she goes. It looks like a, oh, you don't know who it could be. Today you don't know who's who. So it could be, uh, it could just say person, say human. Can you say human without getting a, a, anybody upset? Can I just call you a human being? Can we just do human being? Everybody's a human being and leave it at that. All right, let's, can we go out? Can you give us a tour of the outside a little bit? All right, we're gonna, I wanna show you the outside of the building. Uh, oh yes, the rats. Well, I really don't wanna see the rats. No, they're, they're artistic rats. All they're right. bronze rats. Let's go you see that. You have to go through a corridor. Let me get back on this thing now. Francis, Sorry about that. I think it was the movie uh, Francis Ford Coppola, The Untouchables. Have you been The Untouchables? Where the baby carriage is going down the staircase? I believe it was the staircase here at Grand Central. Don't quote me on that. No worry, I won't. <laughs> There's Long Island. That's where we'll be headed <laughs> shortly. And believe it or not, they come from all over the world uh, to view this building. And it's been restored to its, its, its uh, pretty much its original glamour. So we're going to go, where are we going now? I just want to show you the rats because they are notable. How far? Where's the main entrance? We came through it. That's the same side. 
coming soon. Just bring money, whatever it is, it's not gonna be cheap. Just bring money, coming soon. I can't imagine what the rents are here at Grand Central Station. Terminal. Terminal. Well, the reason I say station is because most people say Grand Central Station. They don't say Grand Central Terminal. It's like casket and coffin. I used to work with a woman who was a mortician on the bodies in the morgue, and she corrected me once. She said, it's not a coffin, it's a casket. <laughs> Fine, lady. Uh, she was a woman. Yeah, she identified as a woman. And she used to paint the makeup on the, uh, the deceased for the mortuary. And she corrected me and said, it's not a coffin, it's a casket. And I said, okay, okay. A coffin, I guess, is a bad word for casket. So who knows? Here's some more places you can travel here. Train departures, New Haven Line, Harlem Line, Hudson Line, you name it. You go anywhere you want. Exposed light bulbs up close. Those are like Edison light bulbs. Oh, so this was one of the first places that they celebrated the invention of the light bulb. Right. Okay. All right. They could afford it. Just buy a few less fighter jets. All right. You can see We're outside now. Maybe. Oh yes. What is that about? What the hell is that about? How long have they? Oils. How long have they been there? That's original. Yeah. Geez, if I was around when they was doing the original, I would have said, "Get those rats out of there." That doesn't seem to go with the building and the grandeur and the glamour of the building is to have rats going up there. But uh, so it is. Thanks for taking the time, Mary Beth, for, sh for showing us the rats. I could have done without the rats. Chrysler building, straight up. Those, those uh, gargoyles are made of hubcaps. See the gargoyles on the Chrysler building? I don't know if you can, but that is uh, an iconic building in itself. People get that one mixed up with the Empire State Building. It is not. So uh, let's go back to, uh, the front of the building. I'd like to see the front of the building, you know, where the let's arches. Go. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna follow Mary Beth. And uh, well, while see. we're at it, we're giving a tour. In the distance is a, a building with a finial way down there. That's where Con Edison is. That's our utility company. The, the related to Edison. The one with the uh, looks like a church. Yeah. Let me well, see if I can get. Important g building. It is a What are you talking about, a finial? What are you talking about? It's got that thing on the top that looks like a... There it is. See it between the... Yeah, anyway, yeah. Anyway, there was the Mad Bomber. I think the Mad Bomber okay. was in the 60s or Thank the you. 70s, and that was what he was... He tried to bomb. Well, somebody took the time to do this, huh? Somebody who loves trees did this, right? Thank you. All right. We're, uh, we're going to circle around. All right, uh, we're at 19 minutes, so we're gonna have to wrap this up at some point. The advertising agencies of Madison Avenue are not on Madison Avenue anymore. They're in that building. Imagine all those smart, intelligent people to get everybody to buy garbage that they don't need. <laughs> Put their mind to something more creative, more enhancing to society as a whole. They make a lot, a lot of money and they're the smartest people in the world to get people to get off their couch and purchase a product that they saw on the television. It's unbelievable. Only if they put their brains to something worthwhile. Well, psychology is everything. The godfather of advertising was Edward Bernays, nephew of Sigmund Freud. Is that right? If I look this up and I find out you're lying. <laughs> 
couldn't tell you anything, couldn't I? Oh no, but not with Google. I have to be very careful. Anyway. Now what is this building over here? It's the Bowery Bank. Bowery Bank. Now Cipriani. Cipriani. What is this? The Hyatt Grand Hyatt. Which was the Commodore. Just bring money. Just no, they're bring it money. Down, they're the Hyatt? Down. Yeah, this month. Uh, this the whole year. building? Yeah. Sure. We're totally gutting it. They're going to gut it. Okay. All right, be patient. I just want to give you some views of the outside of the terminal or the station, uh, whatever you prefer. Need a COVID test? They're going to give a booster now. We're going to get a booster. Every other month, you get a booster until the uh, pharmaceutical uh, companies have so much money that they can, I don't know what they can do. Everybody's suspicious about everything, and you can't blame them. That's where we had the... Uh, uh, yeah, this is... This is what I wanted to show you. Look at that. Imagine they were going to tear that down. Oh, yeah, Bob, let's tear this building down and make room for a square box. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea to me, Phil. We'll make money. We'll make millions. I'm glad they saved it. I'm glad they saved it. <sighs> Unbelievable. <sighs> Tearing this building down would be the uh, equivalent of blowing your head off by accident. I was only cleaning my gun. I didn't know there was one in the chamber. Did you hear what Alec Baldwin said? The latest out of the Alec Baldwin uh, shooting on set is he said that the uh, the, the poor woman, the, the poor woman who was shot, Alec Baldwin said that uh, she took the gun from him, took a loaded round out of her purse or pocketbook, loaded the weapon and shot herself. So I don't know how true that is, but uh, I can only... Uh, I gotta cut this video off. This is going too far. So this is Park Avenue now. Whoa, here's a good shot of the building. There's the Pan Am building. It was, no, now it used to be the Pan Am building. Now it's MetLife, you know? They used to land helicopters on the roof, but there was a Met life. crash. So they stopped doing that. that MetLife is another insurance scam. Let's give a company money so when I die, somebody can eat. You know, unbelievable. Life insurance, just another way to... So this is the front, would you say this is the front? This is the front. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna cut this off because I'm losing patience with Mary Beth. I'm losing patience with every damn thing. No, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Beth. Uh, Given us, uh, given us the tour of uh, Grand Central Station. For what I remembered of. For what you remembered of it, and uh, you know, just a beautiful building. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. 23, 24 minutes. I'm gonna stop it if I can get there.